Hell yeah, alright guys, the first topic is... What the f***? Hell yeah, what's up guys, it's Curse Pike, my friends call me Banksy. I'm back again, today we got some more game talk, game news. Yeah, this is game news for all you gamers out there that play video games, record it, upload it to YouTube, and make the money off of it. Yeah, this is for you guys, so let's get right into this. We're picking topics to help you out, and topic number one is... Alright guys, the first topic is Pillars of Eternity. Yes, this is a PC game that has now been given a release date of March 26th. I'm telling you that because this game looks awesome. If you played on any of the old school RPG games like Baldur's Gate 1, Baldur's Gate 2, Icewind Dale series, yeah, this is the spiritual successor to that. This is an original IP, so it's not based on the D&D universe, but it pretty much looks kind of like those other ones except for a few small changes. For some people, that might not be enough to get them to try it because it doesn't have that originality factor, but for those of you that are nostalgic about the old school games, well, this could be the big one. Yeah, if you like Planescape Torment, Baldur's Gate, uh, Icewind Dale Trilogy, all that stuff, this is the one to pick up. March 26th. Also, please, please, please take a look on Thursday at 1 o'clock Pacific Time, 10 o'clock EST, and 8 o'clock UK, because I don't know where you are. <laughs> yeah, check it out. They've got a Twitch stream about the, that they're going to be playing the new game. Pardon me, I can't pronounce my words very well, Big C. Come on, do it. Um, they got, they're going to be streaming some Twitch on this, so they got some Twitch gameplay coming up. Check it out. The link is below. All right, guys, the second topic is a lot like the first topic. Let's get right into that. Alright guys, the second topic isn't much different than the first topic, except there's a new Baldur's Gate game coming out. Hell yes, if you like these type of RPGs, today or this year is the big year. The isometric top-down hit space bar for combat RPG is making a huge comeback. It feels like it's 1998 again, except I'm much older and I still play the same video games. Whatever, not judging myself. Joking aside, Beamdog, the developers of the Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 Enhanced Editions, well, they have confirmed they are making a new Baldur's Gate based on their the Baldur's Gate IP, so it's going to be called Baldur's Gate. And uh, yeah, it's coming out sometime in 2015. It was previously referred to as Project Y. <laughs> well, I don't know why they called it that. No pun intended, that was just horrible. But um, yeah, that was what it used to be called, but now they have told us that it's a Baldur's Gate game. So, if you like these type of RPGs, it is time to celebrate today is a glorious day for the news. All right, guys, and those games, by the way, for you game players and let's players, they make good views, man. They get nostalgic. There are people watching Baldur's Gate videos from like 17 years ago. That game was like seven, 15 years old or 16 years old. I still watch them on YouTube, so maybe try them out. You make some cash off that. Let's get into topic number three. Alright guys, the third topic is PlayStation related. For all of you that have a PlayStation 4, well, the PlayStation Now service, the one that streams out those 100 games that you could play for like 20 bucks a month, well, here's the thing. They are now giving away 7-day free trial to try it out. Now, what does that mean to you? It means one thing. It means you've got 7 days to play 100 video games. Mission accepted? <laughs> you Just type it below. I don't know. I, I want to know if you're going to do it. But joking aside, yeah, guys, 100 games seven days not enough time to try it out but it is enough time to try the service out see if it's something that's worth it for you i will give you one one little heads up though apparently you need to put in a credit card so if you you have to cancel the subscription is what i'm trying to say so it's put in seven days and if you don't call in or anything like that it looks like the service continues until you cancel it so please keep that in mind but other than that it looks like a pretty solid deal and you get seven days to try it out all right let's get into topic number four Alright guys, final topic, it's Nintendo, not Nintendo Wii, not Nintendo Wii U, none of that stuff. It's NES, yeah, original Nintendo. Here's what's going on. A game called Stadium Events, which was released in 1987, well, here's the deal. Uh, some guy that worked for Nintendo had a factory sealed copy of this game, and if you're not aware of it, and you probably aren't, this game was extremely limited, there was very, very few releases, and, it's so, and one of them sold last year on eBay for a ton of money. So this guy decided he would put his even better copy up, factory sealed, etc., etc., and he would try and sell it. Well, right now on eBay, he has over 80 bids for it, and they've, given, they've offered now over $100,000 for this single Nintendo game. That's right, guys. One game 
$100,000. Now, I don't know how nostalgic, I don't know how old school you guys are, but a hundred grand for that for one game, if you got that kind of baller dough, I don't know, man, maybe donate it to charity or something like that. I don't know. But anyways, guys, this is real. This is happening. It still hasn't sold yet, so there's still the bidding still going up. So if you've got a spare hundred and something thousand bucks, throw it down. Why not? But anyways, stadium event, super rare, guys. That's it for the news today. Thank you for watching it. Thank you for thumbsing this up. I will be back later today with a couple more videos. I've got another video on that 360 uh, YouTube thing coming up. I got some thoughts on that. And uh, I've also got a success series video coming up as well. So thank you for watching. Be back soon. Big C checking out. Bling.